Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and BeamNG Drive. Uh, today we are doing something just a little bit different, uh, just a little bit. Uh, so instead of creating semi-realistic cars that I like to create, uh, we're creating uh, a very unrealistic, uh, incredibly expensive golf cart. This is probably the uh, this is probably going to be the world's fastest golf cart and the world's most expensive golf cart. Um, now do I have any way to justify those claims? Probably not, but we're going to find out this video. So, full carbon fiber, monocoque. This is going to be the lightest, fastest thing possible. Uh, front, longitudinal, probably. Uh, now, we're going for lightweight here. So, we can either go for push rod or I think, I think, I think, because I think, think push rod is actually lighter than anything on the rear suspension setup. Give us a new engine. Please go back here. Plus 15. There, there's already a million dollars, probably. I'm thinking probably a small inline engine, because even with like 400 horsepower, this thing's going to be incredibly fast. Um,. I don't do much straight six builds. Straight six it is five cylinders, so it's going to be a 30 valve. We can go for a 25 valve engine. A five five cylinder. That'll be kind of cool, I think. Yeah, six cylinder it is. Uh, this is going to be a, a reasonably small. I want it to rev to at least 12,000 RPM. Uh, just a very, very, very small stroke away. I might as well go for a three liter. Three liter straight six. And we'll go a little bit on the, on the bigger side there. Three liter straight six sounds perfectly. That's awesome. Yeah, full forged interior. There we go. Plus 15. Uh, full cam profile. This thing's going to be basically an F1 engine. No turbos for us right now. This is definitely going to be the most unrealistic build uh, I've ever made. Because why not? And plus 15. And we're going to make a pretty large diameter. We'll make it a 3 inch to start probably. Uh, 12,000 RPM please. And then we'll go to max sliders. So right now... Just with an NA 3 liter straight 6. Oh wait, we're not even we're not even like tuned fully here. We're, we're not even tuned really at all. Uh, a much higher compression ratio. Like this is going to 12.5 to 1. 13 to 1 compression. And then we'll use the rest. Oh, we have more fuel tubes actually. Oh no, I thought we had ignition timing. And we're going to go to 12. And just go up this to... 14.6 to 1 compression, 495 horsepower with an NA straight 6. Uh, no exhaust, race, race intake. What does this thing sound like, actually? Sounds pretty great. That sounds pretty great. Sounds like, uh, sounds like a race car, basically. Uh, we'll keep it, I think, NA, to be honest. This is, this is going to be an NA build, because the turbos uh, aren't suitable for this thing, obviously. Uh, we're going to go... Continue on here, full body quality, please. It's gonna save some weight. Uh, Reroll drive, sequential or sequential six speed. That sounds or dual clutch seven speed. I, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Radial semi slicks and pretty small tires in this boy. We're gonna do very 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 wide wheel spacers though, because obviously we need that. And let's go for slightly bigger on the tires because this thing's already gonna handle uh, like the worst handling car in the world. Two fifty five is rear. I think it will do. 215s in the front. This thing's gonna be, is it rear? Oh, it's rear right now, but we might change it to all. Carbon fiber wheels for us, please. And then just carbon ceramics for the extra lightweight. I wanna make this thing incredibly fast. Uh, it's, it's not gonna stop that great because obviously the brakes are tiny, but that's okay. We'll go for a one seater. Even though it's a two seater, that's fine. Plus 15 on the interior. Uh, I want traction aids, but no safety because we can and might as well just do plus 15 for the lulls. And then just like light suspension because we. We had weight with the sway bars. Let's keep it the cheapest sway bars, and we'll tune this thing for sport. Uh, just over 1,000 pounds, only getting 26 mpg, but we are making uh, 0.60 and 4.5 with a very awful driving car, I can imagine, so far. Uh, if we go all-wheel drive, 1,100 pounds. Okay, we're adding a bit of weight here. We can do 0.60 in 2.1 seconds, an incredibly fast machine. Top speed of 277 kilometers an hour. That's gotta be the fastest golf cart. If it's not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be totally rattled. We'll leave it at that. Uh, what else can we do here? Let's just do a fine fine combing of everything we've done. So that's all plus 15. No turbos though. If we actually went turbo, we can probably add a bit of horsepower. Just a bit. Uh, but a lot of weight. Let's lower the ignition timing down, increase the fuel mixture. We can do just a bit higher. That's good. It's going down a bit. Let's go down by 1, 11.1. .1. Uh, then just max out the boost because we're going to use all that probably. Well, let's increase the intercooler size. And we're knocking again. Okay. Lower the ignition timing. We still have issues there. That's not great. Let's lower the compression then. Okay. 
So only 600, only 650 horsepower. That's 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 nothing. That's not enough. We can actually lower the intercooler probably a bit. Oh no, we're actually losing horsepower. Okay, so we have the power to go higher here. Now we can make the power a bit later. We can get a bit, just a bit more of it. Um, we are also not using all of our all of our boost. Six hundred and sixty-five is around where we're getting here. We can actually six hundred and seventy. If we can go full, full fuel, full no, we'll go a little less than full on the fuel mixture there. Then decrease the turbine size. We'll gain a bit more horsepower. So we're at six hundred ninety or so horsepower. Honestly, like seven hundred horsepower is more than I would have imagined. Uh, Thirteen hundred pounds. We get zero sixty-two point one seconds. And our tires are obviously much too small for this thing. Uh, is there any lighter suspension? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's the lightest. Yeah, McPherson's trucks is the same weight, I think, as push rod in this game. There's no weight difference in those. Uh, 300 straight six, five valve per cylinder. Uh, it sounds pretty great. We get a bit more horsepower to that, though. Honestly, I think 715 horsepower is, is totally fine. Uh, I kind of don't want turbos. We're getting only 10 MPG now. We're getting even worse MPG. Let's just, uh, that's okay. That's fine. We can go bigger on the rear tires, but the front is going to be so, 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 so small. Like 305's front, or 305's rear, sorry. Yeah. It's not, we don't need power steering though at all. Again, tune this for sport, just retune the whole thing there. I think it's a pretty good basis. Um, so, of course the engine's sticking out the front, but if you go, I think if you go... Okay, transverse. <laughs> it looks just as wild transverse. It looks just as wild. Oh my gosh. What if we go... Uh, I don't want to change the chassis type, obviously. We'll leave in carbon fiber. That's fine. Uh, what if we go... Oh, front wheel drive gets this thing a 900 weight. Ooh, we're up 300 pounds right there. A bit more on the rear bias, please. What is this What is this telling us? Severe issues with wheel, with wheel spin. Well, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm getting a ping on Discord, too. That's okay. So I think a 60-40 split, a hypercar golf car thing, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. This thing is a front engine, front, I mean front engine, front wheel drive, but all wheel drive. Uh, very, 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 very fast golf car. This looks too wild. Um, the exhaust is hanging down there. I think that's, I think that's how it comes. I'm going to put an exhaust on to fix that. Uh, I'm going to design this car real quick and then we'll jump to Beam and G for the rest of the video and see how this thing drives. Okay, so we are building our golf cart, go-kart thingamajigger. Uh, obviously, this is a much shorter build than usual, uh, because there's just not much here. Uh, first things first, like always, I do start off with the front end, adding a very basic design, uh, similar to not really any golf cart on the road, but uh, more more like a car. That's okay. Uh, I do have a big vent to open up where the actual uh, exhaust manifold goes into. Uh, then I have a piping on the side where the exhaust is going to come out, and then another hole on the side where... I believe it's the air intake, I, I, I can't remember at this exact moment. Uh, also adding some wings, pretty much just adding some downforce where I can without it being too flashy because this vehicle is all about blending in, uh, clearly. Uh, we have some quick mirrors put on there and then we just do some very basic taillights. This is a very simple car, again very short. Um, basically and then I just play with the color real quick, changing it to a big bright green, a nice minty boy color uh, with some dark accents and then I add my own, um, once I play with the exhaust, uh, I start adding some more details. Uh, basically having the exhaust come up the side, it's on both the side. Change the wheels up, uh, add a quick bumper, and then add a bit more detail on the side. Uh, the car is, ve the vehicle, like this is not really a car, this is called the uh, Golf Cart Boy Sport, adding a little bit of doors on the side just for some extra storage, because that might be useful. Uh, I do do some more tweaks, but this is the basic design, this is the 2020 Golf Cart Boy Sport. Like I said guys, the Golf Cart Boy Sport is complete. Uh, I did change a few things. Instead of being front transverse, I changed it to front mounted longitudinal. Uh, because there was some glitches, you know, I, I did a lot of testing just to make sure this is going to work in beam. Uh, and this does work. Uh, of course it doesn't work well. This is never going to work well. It works though, it drives, it does not break. Um, so I have a big, a big gaping exhaust here basically for the entire engine sticking at the front. The headlights are actually kind of not perfect, but that's okay. We'll make them fit just a little better. It's a little bit slimmer on the headlights there. Basically just fits... Enough. We have some very, very aggressive eyebrows I put on this thing, just, just for the funsies. Um, basically, again, this is just uh, what would maybe be some sort of golf cart in some sort of 
dystopian world that would never exist obviously in our world uh this is just the golf cart crank to 10 i'm gonna play the headlights this this little thing real quick um so besides that i changed a few things i tuned the suspension up i changed the actual uh tire size the spacing the front tires are a bit smaller this car is definitely i'm gonna delete this actually i don't like it anymore cars definitely aren't the easiest to handle but that's that's all in good fun um this is never gonna be a great handling vehicle a giant gaping grill like i said you can see the turbo right down there a massive massive absolutely massive turbo uh, smaller tires, we've got some storage right there. The exhaust just dumps uh, back of the engine. It comes, <laughs> like, let's see, it comes out the back if we hide just the, not the bottom, if we hide the body. So it comes and just goes down here, turns around and comes right up the side for no reason. I love it though. It looks so cool. It's such a cool side dump. Uh, I dig it. Actually, a hood dump would have been cooler, but I, the side dump's perfectly fine by me. A big old wing in the back. It is a little bit bouncy, even though it's tuned quite stiff. Um, it does on sports suspension. I'm going to leave it on sports suspension. I don't want to do too much testing. I spent like 15, 20 minutes getting it to work. Uh, it's just 60, it's just four seconds. This thing is only rear wheel drive now. That's okay. Um, now all that's left to do is to jump into BMG drive, uh, and see how this thing actually drives. All right, guys. So we're here in BMG drive with the golf cart boy sport. Uh, as you can see, it loaded them pretty good. It loaded them pretty good. Uh, not too much kind of issues with the loading in. Uh, the back end's a little weird. The springs look a little bit aggressive. Uh, this car drives horribly. Um, even though it's tuned to sports suspension, I didn't want to change the shooting too, too much because it breaks a lot. Uh, but it is tuned to sports suspension, so it should be decently tight, decently sporty. It is super soft. It's not like it's not sporty at all. Um, this is the automation test track handling circuit. So we're going to do a quick handling circuit race. And then we're going to jump probably into a top speed run to see what this thing is capable of. Uh, and spoiler alert. It's, uh, it is, it is absolutely terrifying to drive. So we're gonna go here, uh, traction control off, we'll do a third person. Now to put that, I already crashed here. Now to put this into perspective, uh, a good time on this track with like a really, really fast car that's super light, uh, is about a minute 20-ish. And we're not gonna get that because this car is just awful to drive. You can see here, there's already an insane amount of body roll. It is incredibly fast though. <laughs> Oh no, that's bad. Uh, I, I've got a few minutes of testing in this car, uh, on this course, and obviously, um, obviously I haven't finished the lap yet because pff, how can I do that? Basically, I'm just gonna be nice and gentle with this thing. Definitely go easy through the corners. You can see the whole car just lifts up on the corners, though. Uh, so much body roll. This is this is this is a barge, but it's not a barge. So it's super light. But the weight is all quite high up. Look at that. We almost rolled it right there. If there's one thing this car is really, 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 if, if it's good at really something, it's it's good at the brakes. The brakes are great. It's really good at brakes. Braking? Sure. Brakes are great. Um, the handling, not so much. But the, the speed is actually pretty good. It, it hooks up pretty well, as long as you don't, like, give her 100% throttle. It picks up quite well. Definitely an impressive car. Not really a car, definitely an impressive golf cart. You can see here the suspension. <laughs> the back is hilarious. It turns over pretty good, uh, as you could tell to BMG Drive. The the wing is kind of glitching out. Oh boy, that was terrifying. We're fine. No crashes here. We're already a minute on the track. No air there because the suspension is just so soft. It sounds great though. And we'll take a look at that side dump exhaust in a second because it's pretty cool. You can see right there. This thing sounds wild. That's 12,000 RPM. Uh, inline six. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, try number three. Okay, last try. Uh, <laughs> this is a crazy, this is such a bad car. We're gonna go in first person for this thing. Because this is about the only way you could probably finish a lap. Just gonna take it real gentle, like I said. This is, probably, this is definitely the worst car I've ever driven on a track because it just has such a high, high risk of rolling over. And it still drives pretty badly. You just can't turn it all that much because you're going to roll over. Oh, that was close. But it does like to burn rubber, which is obviously bonus points. Then just go a little slow through here. Like a little burst of acceleration and braking is probably what's best for this car because you can't take the turns fast at all. Even though this car is incredibly light, it is terrible at taking turns because the center of gravity is, again, so incredibly high. Probably. It, like, it doesn't look like it. There's that much weight in the roof, but... 
The brakes lock up way too easily. They're a little... They're good, but obviously they're they're a little too good for this car. Um, uh, too much braking force for the weight of the vehicle. And the size of the tires are also quite small. So that also contributes to my terrible handling. But that's, that's all the fun. This car loaded in and that's, that's all, obviously all I wanted. We could have easily picked up even higher speed there, but I want to, of course, break down the second gear. We're already at 123 on our time, 125. Ice is slow here. This is a uh, dual clutch. I, I think it's a dual clutch. I don't think it's a sequential. And it's still actually... Um, I don't know, the shifting almost seems a little slow on it, to be honest, even in the manual. Like, the downshifting just seems... not perfect. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this thing is so fast, in a straight line. That's literally all it can do. <laughs> the whole thing's just leaning. Look at this, it's just body lean. Holy crap. A little bit of drifting there. And there we go. <laughs> the whole thing's just waving. Uh, 216. That's awful. Obviously, it's awful. We're gonna, just going to jump uh, into Free Roam, I think. And we'll go to... I think we'll just go to the grid map. Uh, the default sounds good. We'll just jump in there real quick. Uh, yeah, so this car. So, uh, what, 800-ish horsepower and about 1,200 pounds, 1,300 pounds maybe? In, well, for all you people who uh, who use metric like you, like I should probably because I'm Canadian. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, what is that, 700 kilograms, 600 kilograms-ish? 600 kilograms, so it's very, very, very light. Of course, I made another one earlier, and, um, it was different. This thing is different in itself. So we'll look at the car here, really, the size of the exhaust. Quite impressive, I like that. The exhaust is sticking right through the, uh, the actual car itself. Perfect. One thing I want to try first, we'll go to third per first person. Take off traction control, because we don't need that, or stability control. We'll take the ramp. You can see the whole thing's already wafting. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, we didn't do that right. Okay, we'll try this again. It almost stuck on that actually quite well. That was quite impressive. I, I like that. That was impressive. Suspension's incredibly soft. Wow! It hugged that so well. We're gonna keep going here, I guess, because we're here. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, is this say where are we? That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was good. We'll keep going here. Uh, we're gonna take it. We're gonna change the camera because, yeah, it's dumb. Like not rolling over at 30, 40 kilometers a game. Rolls around 40 kilometers there. That's that's actually not bad. Okay, doesn't like going reverse. That's fine. We're gonna see if we can get for top speed thing on this. We'll see what top speed we can acquire with this beast. I don't think it's much. We're gonna go over here and turn around and go back the other way. Because I know there's a wall up here. So 150 right there in fourth, which is pretty impressive. The brakes lock up, and then the whole thing just wants to sort of go back and forth. We're gonna go back this way and see if we can get for top speed. This thing really reminds me of the Red Lion Robin, because it's just so unstable. So 200 kilometers an hour. We're gonna get some, some shaking. Some severe shaking now, 260. And overheating is happening. <laughs> So 260 is is a uh, ratatassi. This thing could actually go even farther, I think. It can go probably a bit faster. The engine still works somehow, just fine. Oh my gosh, look at the engine! It just works. It just works. Don't don't you dare question it. A lot of fun. Uh, this is my little golf cart boy. Definitely a more chill video. We're just having fun building a very 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 ask golf cart. 
if you want me to build some more crazy vehicles, because there is a motorcycle mod now, and I want to see if I can get that working, BeamNG. There's a motorcycle mod. Check out the motorcycle mod, guys. It's so crazy. Uh, I want to check it out, too. Uh, maybe if you guys like this one enough, I'll make a video with the motorcycle mod, and I'll try to get that to work just fine. I mean, by just fine, I mean I want it to work just enough, so it's still terrible to drive, but, you know, so, so it's in the game. Um... So that's it for this one. Uh, a couple things I want to mention before we end off this video. Join the Discord linked in the description. Join the Gosh Darn Discord. If you guys like the video, uh, like down below. Comment, subscribe. We'll do whatever you want. Uh, that's okay. Um, a lot of fun to build. Give me some ideas down below what you want me to do. Uh, I want to do another Fastest Car in the World video. That's coming up probably this week as well. Fastest Car in the World. Uh, make sure to check out Canadian Steel's channel. Uh, probably tomorrow or the day after. He's going to do the uh, Luxo Barge testing. So check out that. Uh, his link will be in the description as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you next time.